For months, war felt so far from Russia's capital. It's feeling much closer now. Moscow mobilized. The special operation advertised on bus stops and billboards. Russia calls them heroes, but it needs more. So more men are ordered to the call-up centers and sent to Ukraine. Conditions are basic. These draftees have no beds. These do, sort of. And he says his group is being sent straight to Ukraine without any military training. And the president, he's escalating this conflict. Tomorrow, Vladimir Putin is expected to start the annexation of 15% of Ukrainian territory. There's little excitement about that on the streets of Moscow. I feel negative about it because it's the territory of Ukraine. I think it is uh, historically Russian uh, territory. I think it's uh, a total disaster, not for, only for Ukraine, but also for, for the Russia. What's more, the Kremlin call-up has sparked widespread fear. In all the years I've been covering Russia, in all the places I've been, there's one phrase more than any other I've heard from people here. We must avoid war. This country knows very well the cost of war. Millions of people were killed here fighting Nazi Germany. And yet today, the Russian leadership is calling up and sending its citizens to the front line and annexing large parts of its neighbor. And look what can happen to those who oppose war, like Artyom Kamardin, who read out an anti-war poem. Police raided his flat, and the nightmare began. Artyom's fiance Sasha was there when the police burst in. They dragged me across the floor by my hair. They started super gluing stickers to my face. They threatened to glue my mouth up. Then I heard the beating from the room where Artyom was. They forced him to undress. I heard how they were talking about raping him. They filmed everything they did to Artyom. They grabbed me by the hair and showed me a photo of him, naked and beaten up, covered in blood. Russia's invasion is having devastating consequences for Ukraine and for Russia too. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.